Saturday, you guys. Um, it is Roshi Ball, y'all, and I, I've been up. I've been up since 7, and um, I just got through devouring a bowl of honey butters of oats, and that's it, that's it, that's it. I'm going to try my best to do no soda today. I need to start consuming some more water, so I took this half, I took this water bottle from downstairs, and I bought it up here to make sure I can drink some water. I have quite a few things to do today. If I can't fit it all in today, I will definitely use tomorrow. I should have started yesterday, actually, but um, I want to wait. But um, I have a couple things coming from Amazon.com today that I ordered. Um, I think I have three or four things, three that I know of. I I have a drill for my nails and some primer coming today so I can work on my pedicure, um, give myself a pedicure, you know, and then I also have some two packs of Ex Beauty Expressions kinky hair coming today so I can start braiding my hair with that. Um, the reason why I'm choosing to braid my hair with a different kind of hair today is not going to be like your ordinary braiding hair. It's pretty much like Marley hair, but they call it Beauty Expressions and it's like a I think it's called Kinky Crush Hair or something like that. I've seen it on YouTube and ever since then I loved it because if you want like a natural look with your natural hair, um, braiding your hair with that will give it to you. You know, and at the end it kind of curls and like it kind of bends, you know, it kind of looks real natural like it's like it's really yours. So I'm thinking, hmm, I need to braid my hair again and I'm looking to try something new. So I found that and I'm going to go ahead and use that. Um, I ordered a wig like about a couple weeks ago from AliExpress and it came I think a couple of days ago it came so I want to show you guys that real quick I know I'm sad again hold on I also got some laundry going so I think this wig is I don't know how long this is but it's very synthetic but it, it's like a kinky type synthetic look let me show you guys some better lighting real quick first of all wait hold on you're doing the most, Kiwi. Gosh, you always do. Let me show you guys in better lighting so you guys can see. I don't know if that is doing it justice or not, but it's really long. Um, if I also put it on, yeah, it'll be, it's pretty long. I did try it on, and I named her Miss Blair because a while back when I was in elementary school, I went to 97th Street School. It's now called Barrett something, and there was a teacher there. I don't know if she was Somalian. I don't know what she was, but she, her name was Miss Blair and she had long hair that reminded me of this and it was all hers. Okay. Duh. I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but, um, yeah, she had hair that reminded me of this. So I named this wig Miss Blair after her. I think she was a kindergarten teacher. I think, I don't know. I don't know what class I got switched to because my teacher name was Miss Adams at first. And I guess I kept talking. So I got switched to a whole nother class. It has some other teacher deal with me. I don't know. But this is the wig right here. It does come with like um, three combs, two on the sides, and then one right here. Adjustable straps. This lace, all this lace right here that I'm not good at cutting. And I'm going to stop saying that because eventually I will be good at cutting lace. But I just want to make sure I don't actually tear the wig after the lace is cut. But this is indeed... The kinky look of the wig. I should show you guys in more better lighting than this, but I feel like it's gonna be like a glare in the phone and all of that, and I don't, I don't wanna, you know, mess up the footage or whatever. But yeah, so that's her, Miss Blair. Yes, I want to braid my hair good enough to where if I want to put on a wig over my um my individuals, then I I will do that. But, um, yes, so this is Miss Blair, and I just wanted to show you guys, she does have a look at that pottery. See that parter? That pottery? See? Um, some people pluck it, and some people make it wider, but I'm not going to touch all that, because I don't know what I'm doing. Now, um, <clears throat> yeah, it gives you, like I said, you guys, I'm sorry, the lighting is not really all that good. If I was to go to the window, you might not have... Better, it might not have better lighting so you guys can really see what this wig is given on this morning. But yes, I like to put my adjustable straps all the way closer by the comb to get that snuggage. Because I don't want this to kind of, I don't use glue, I don't use tape. I use bobby pins, the combs that come with it, adjustable straps if I need it. I mean, I mean you know, more bobby pins, the adjustable straps of course, and prayer. With the hopes that this wig don't come off. So, um... 
I just thought I need to show you guys that. This is Miss Blair. I might show you guys in a better lighting how it looks because I feel like that's not really fair to show y'all something and I give you guys a better look at it. But I really want to make sure that the glare is not messing up this wig. See, yeah, I could have just been did this, but I didn't realize it until now. You see how you got the kink, the crinkles in it to give it that more natural look of the hair? This is the best I can do, y'all, with the lighting. You see how it looks like somebody just blue dried their hair. And this is probably like, like they blow dried their hair yesterday, wrapped it up, slept on it, and then it came out like this. That's the best way I can describe how this hair looks. And if ever I get synthetic wigs, it's no longer going to be that obviously a wig, shiny synthetic wig. I'm not going to get no crunchy synthetic wigs. I rather get synthetic wigs that looks kinky like this texture, so that way I can be sure to like make it last long and I can really work on it and really work on it and then it'll look like mine. It'll look like I'll just have human a human hair wig, but nobody will ever know that this is a wig because of the texture. Look, it's very kinky and it looks like it can actually be mine. You know what I mean? And it's in the color 1B. I don't know how many inches this is, but it's in the color 1B. And I just thought I want to show and tell that for you guys. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try it on and show y'all. So hold on. All right, you guys, this is how the wig looks. Of course, the lace is still on it because I'm not quite sure how I want to cut that yet. I really want to make sure I'm careful, though. I may actually cut it cut it while I still have it on. I don't know how much inches this is right here, but it's the longest wig I've ever had. Um, the longest synthetic wig I ever had, that is. And um, I think I had, like, one human hair wig that was this length. But I just don't, I don't know how much, um, I don't know how, what length this is. Let me see if I can find some information. I, it looks like it's probably like a good 24 maybe, you think? I don't know, but it's coming down here to where my hands are. Let me show y'all in the back. I don't know. See? Yeah, that's how it looks. In the back, huh? Oh, I'm going over here. <laughs> and nobody ever does that, but I'm exaggerating. But yes, everybody, um... Yeah, y'all saw my shoes. I'm going to be working on my shoes later on. I have the nail kit and everything that I showed you all yesterday. Today, um, I think I already told you guys in the beginning of the video that I have a couple things coming from Amazon.com. I have my primer and I have my drill for my nails. And I have the two packs of kinky hair from Beauty Expressions um, in the color 1B. So I can start braiding my hair with that. If it does not come until tomorrow, I probably won't be braiding my hair until tomorrow. But I'll still work on my pedicure. DIY straight up but yes I just want to show you guys look at this see the crinkles in it to make it look like it's like a natural thing going on it looks like a blow-dried look or I just took it out the ponytail or I went from wearing it like this and I was wearing it like this at first but then when I took it down it gave me this this look I like this wig I really love it it's synthetic and it's like a kinky synthetic look, which from now on out, if I ever get any kind of synthetic wigs, it's going to be this kinky texture right here because um, it looks real. I'm not going to get that extra shiny synthetic wigs. I'm not going to get those anymore. Even though I could put gel on those, brush it out, and make it look like this. I could do that. If a wig is really pretty and it's synthetic, I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to make sure I um, kink it up myself because I know how to make certain shiny synthetic wigs look like this. I know how to do that. I just put a, light, a lot of gel on it, especially gel that I know gets really hard. Put a lot of gel on it and then braid it in three strands, then take it out and then it'll be the crinkle of that braid out will be in it. And I'll just take a regular bore brush or whatever or any kind of bristle brush and just brush it out. And then usually it will have this look, but just not as soft as this. But it would definitely be that kinkier look once the shine comes out of it. Some people put powder on their wigs when they have a synthetic shiny wig and I've tried that and it worked I tried it and it worked when I when I stayed in North Hollywood back in like 2014 I it worked I was ordering wigs from wigtypes.com like a lot I love the wigs that they had on there like my favorite wig would be from the Outre Outre synthetic wigs the lace front wigs Zen 
and it had like a layer it's like one b and it was going down with like a lighter brown and then to like a, a number 27 like a gold color at the bottom so i had like three different colors and i wore that wig out until the until the gold part turned like really really kind of like nappy and it was getting crunchy so i brushed it out and i feel like oh shoot because the black part and then the burgundy part kind of stayed really cute but then as the hair gets lighter, especially if it's synthetic, it tends to get crunchy a lot. I noticed that when I have synthetic wigs that are the actual color of my natural hair, it stays longer, it lasts longer. But if I was to get another color of it, it just seems like those, it wear out pretty fast. Especially when, when I have different color braids, you know. But yeah. So I just like to experiment with getting different wigs, you guys. Um, do I have hair? Yes. Is it healthy? No. Do I take care of it? No. Not like I should. Or I wouldn't be bald-headed. I know I got raccoon eyes. It's because I slept with eyeliner on. And I didn't properly take it off last night. I got out the shower. Look like I got, look like I got uh, socked in the eye. Anyway, you guys. I just want to show you guys this wig. Another close-up. That's the wig that I got from AliExpress. You know what? To be, let me show you. Let me look up some information. Let me look up this information because it's only right that I show you guys <clears throat> the actual, factual, dactual thing. Because I would hate to get on here and show y'all something with no information. That's like, okay, so what did you buy? And I want to show y'all the real deal Holyfield, so... Speaking of Holyfield, I think I told you guys already. I believe I um, told you already. But when I went to Vegas in 2019 with my coworkers, I saw Evander Holyfield and I took a picture with him. And his son was fine too. His son was right there. Anyway, let me get to this showing. Beautyva, is that it? Okay, is that the wig though that I ordered? Not sure what to give. Not sure what to get. That's not it. I'm just looking for the wig um, that I ordered you guys so I can give you guys a full, some information on it at least because I want to make sure that I don't come on here giving y'all show and tell and not knowing what the heck I bought with no information. I don't like coming on here and not giving y'all no information about what I bought. So I'm just trying to find it. Um, they changed the formatting of AliExpress to the point where I can't even, what did I buy? Let me see. How can I go back to, um, my history of what I bought? Um, I think I found it. I think this is it. Is it it? Yep, it is. Okay, you guys. I bought this wig. It's called Synthetic Wigs Yaki Straight Hair Wig for Women. Yaki, this is 30 inches. This is the wig that I bought right here. But it don't look like it. But it is, is it. It's definitely it because it's synthetical. And it's... This is a little, yeah, this right here. I bought that. That's the wig that I bought. And, yeah, it's 30 inches. It's fiber African wig. Um, 30 inches long Afro hair wig. Heat resistant, which I'm sure you can curl it. And I have all these different colors of the wigs, as you as you know. Um, I have all these different colors that you can get. That's the red one, which is really nice. And that's like a lighter brown one, like in the color number four. And that's in the maybe color number 27. Yep. R107-27. Yep. And this is, it shows you the color right here. Okay. Yeah, but of course I didn't get that style. Oh, that's the one, that's the YouTuber that I watch. Yeah, this is really nice. And they show you headband wigs of this as well. So... Yeah, finally gave y'all some information. Again, I want to make sure I had all that down packed before I get on camera because I don't. I would hate to be like, wait a minute, y'all. Hold on, let me show y'all. Um, 
and that's what makes the video so long and nobody want to watch that so this is ultimately not a show and tell of this wig i was just pretty much trying to show you tell you guys um what i had planned to do today and i end up making this a whole show and tell of this wig that i got from aliexpress is this 30 inches i don't know why i keep thinking 30 inches maybe like by your butt let me show y'all this from a different angle I don't know if y'all can see how long it is from the bottom. It's like giving me like right here. You know? It's giving me right here. Uh, of course, I'm tilting my head back so y'all can see it better. But yeah, when I hold my head up straight, it's giving me at least right here. Okay? So, I guess that is 30 inches and that is the wig that I bought in the color 1B. It's an Afro kinky wig. I'm sorry, what? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> no, it's 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 a wig, but but I can see how you thought it was by <laughs> I get it, I get it. See? And look at it. Okay, basking in the albions, y'all. Get into this. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This actually was not supposed to be a show and tell of this wig. I start off trying to do a vlog at first, but then end up being a show and tell about this wig. Um, but I'm going to come back to you guys and give you guys a continuation of what I was talking about and showing you guys the progress that I have made when it came to things that I plan to do today, like my own pedicure and my braids. So stay tuned for all that. Other than that, I guess this was a show and tell of this wig. Um, what's it going to be like that? But here we go. So, um, Please like, comment, and subscribe. As you guys can see, this is the lace, and there's a lot of lace. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of lace. I gotta cut all that? Dang, I should cut it while it's still on. You know what I mean? Does that make sense to cut it while it's still on? Because in case my hair don't come in time today, I can at least wear a wig, you know? And be free. Anyway, you guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend by June 6th, 7th, or 8th. I'm trying to get up to 50 subscribers. So, so right now I have 40 that I know of. And let's get up there, y'all. It's not that hard. We have the rest of April, May, and then June 6th, 7th, or 8th to get up to 50 subscribers. That's my goal. And then once we're there, we can have a little celebration, okay? Or I don't know what kind of celebration. Maybe I might do just a... A little dance party or something. I don't know. I don't know. But it will just be an accomplishment for me to be able to stick with whatever goals that I'm trying to accomplish. And my goal for YouTube is to get up to 50 subscribers either on June 6th, June 7th, which is my birthday, or June 8th. 50 subscribers is reachable, okay? So please tell a friend to tell a friend and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Wig!